action. If you saw a child in danger, would you go help that child? I think that it's our duty as adults to protect children. It's our duty to guide children. As a parent, I never thought that I would see other parents do things to harm their own children. There are people like Dwayne Wade and his wife, Gabrielle Union, and they are harming their child intentionally. I posted a short about this, and I got so much pushback from lots of individuals who are very, very uh, vocal about their objection with me saying that a child should not be sexualized. And when I look at parents who participate in beauty pageants, who take a, a, a minor and dress a minor up like the opposite gender, I look and I say, why are you doing this? For what reason? How does this benefit the child? And then like, a lot of the pushback, a lot of the rhetoric coming from people is they say that they're trying to allow the child to live their truth. And I'm like, hold on one second. Do you want children to vote? The age of voting is 18, isn't it? Because we don't think that children can make sound decisions until they get to that age. Like that's the age of consent. A child can't get married until they're 18. A child can't legally drive without a permit until they're 16. Why in the world, when it comes to their bodies, are we saying that they can make a decision about their sexuality as early as, as soon as they pop their little heads out of the coochie and say, hi, and welcome to the world. As soon as they come out their mothers, we say that they have the autonomy to make sexual decisions and that's irrational. And for some reason to have these conversations about movies like Cuties and beauty pageants where you sexualize children and have them go down the runways, why are, you, why are you dangling your little children in front of predators like meat? Like here, come and just look at my child, salivate over my child. I look at this stuff and I ask, we've been, we've been allowing people to groom their children to be, uh, uh, I don't even know what it is, what is it? What do you call this? What do you call this perversion? It is a sickness, this, that's what it is. It's a nasty epidemic that's happening to America and I'm like, why in the world, the most vulnerable, the least of us, these little sweet, these precious children, why in the world are we, why are we harming babies? For what reason? We're going to be held accountable for standing around and letting little babies be harmed and we think that it's okay. When I say little babies, man, I mean all the way up until 17 years old. These are children. We designate them as such. We don't allow them to make life-changing decisions until they have the ability to make life-changing decisions. And then we allow people like celebrities to come out here. We're following after these despicable people. They're saying the most horrific things children should be able to make decisions adult decisions to impact the rest of their life and if, if, I, if you saw me give a 14 year old a cigarette you would think that i was a terrible person if you saw me give a 12 year old a shot of whiskey you would think that i was a horrible person and i'm watching you people give these little children uh shots of testosterone and other hormone therapies we're abusing these babies and no one is crying foul and i'm asking why is this you think because you can use some money to abuse a child that it's acceptable it's not acceptable we have to hold these people accountable. We have to hold we have to hold Hollywood accountable. There's a fascinating movie called Licorice Pizza. It's about a 25-year-old woman having a romantic relationship with a 15-year-old boy. And the movie makes it seem like it's very consensual. It even has a happy ending with these two people ending up together at the end of the movie. And I watched this movie and I said, why in the world would they make a movie called Licorice Pizza where a 25-year-old woman falls in love with a 15-year-old boy? What's the point of this story? What's the point of this story? Why are we normalizing this? Why are we going after little boys? I don't understand it. I can't, as a parent, as a concerned parent, I can't understand it. All I want is to do things that help my child grow up to be a wonderful person. And I'm asking you, why don't you want your child to have a, a childhood? Why don't you want your child to be a contributing member of society? Just like, hey, go have a family and help America be the most bestest place on the planet. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.